Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Not very many of you at the moment. I'm hoping a lot more of you log on. Um, I'll be very disappointed if there's only four of you for this, but four is better than none. So we're going to get started in just a moment. I'm going to give it a little, maybe a minute just to let some people, uh, more people log on. Um, make sure you've got um, obviously some sports kit on. It doesn't have to be Embley Games kit. Make sure you've got, you can see it there, a bottle of water. Um, because if you do it properly, you're going to get quite warm. Um, I've always got a towel with me because um, when I get warm, I sweat, as is natural. So it just stops me from ripping the car. I've got a mat, an exercise mat. If you've got one of those, maybe you want to use it as well. Um, just protect the carpet a little bit if you're working on carpet. If you're in the garden, you probably don't need one. Um, and yeah, and a good attitude. That's what you need. Ready, feel good attitude, ready to have a bit of fun, ready to work a little bit hard. Um, and just to blow out those cobwebs um, that there are inevitably going through your body because you've had a lot of time sitting down doing work on your iPad. Um, so a really good opportunity for you now to um, get active, reset your mind, um, forget about all of the you know all the assignments you've got on Spark Jar. Spend half an hour with me and hopefully enjoy it. On that note, on the note of Spark Jar, what I would like you to do is. Um, Get a photo of yourself taking part or a very short video. It doesn't have to include your face even. Um, I know some people probably don't want to do that. or You can scribble your face or whatever. I'm not going to use it for anything. It's not going to go anywhere, so don't worry. But if you send a photo to show me that you've done it today, um, just send it to me with a spark jar on the chat function, just as a, a message to me, not to everyone. And then you can have a commendation for getting involved. Um, I'm obviously going to do this for you every week. So if you want me to give you a shout out on here, then let me know. Send me an email or drop me a message on SparkJar um, and I'll give you a shout out. And don't forget to like the video. Two of you have done that already. So well done. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Shall we start? Quite a few of you have joined. So I'm just going to recap. You need to make sure you've got a bottle of water, please. Make sure you've got um, a soft surface to work on, whether it be the grass in your garden, whether it be, a, as you can see behind me, a mat, um, something just to soften blow. We're going to do um, a bunch of stretches um, just to um, get our muscles loosened up. It's actually it's saying that I've got a bad connection. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping you guys can see me in here. Um, so warm up stretches. Then we're going to do some challenging stuff, um, and we're going to link it to different sports. And we're going to do a really quick cool down. Should we begin? Let's go. <clears throat> so we do a seven minute warm up. I'm just going to have a glug of water. Seven minute warm up. We're going to start off by jogging on the spot. Okay, so I'm going to start the timer on my phone. Let's go. Let's do a jog. Nice, easy jog on the spot. This, because it's the warm up, it doesn't need to be very tough. So remember, if you're involved, I can't, I can see how many people are watching, but I can't see who's watching. So send me a message on Spark Jar. Let me know that you're involved. Even better, send me a photo um, and you can get a commendation for being involved in this. Right, we're going to do some jumping jacks in a second. Let's do this. Okay, so jumping jacks. We all know how to do a jumping jack, hopefully. Blow out those cobwebs. All that sitting down, working. Sitting at your desks. Right, we're going to do some side steps in a second. So make sure you've got a bit of space either side of you. Okay, ready? So I've obviously got the space of my mat. I'm just going to side step. You might have more space than me. You might have less space than me. Just use the space that you've got and do some side steps. I really hope the internet connection's okay. I just noticed a little flicker on the screen. Okay, we're going to do a few more seconds of this, then we're going to do a little hip movement just to stretch out our hip. Okay, so come into the middle, put your feet just over shoulder width apart, you're going to put your arms out and you're going to go across, you're going to touch your right toe with your um, left hand and your left toe with your right hand. You're going to alternate across. It's just going to raise the mobility in your hips. And we're going to go into high knees in a second. Okay, we're ready. So we're going to put our hands out in front. 
we're going high knees. If you don't want to have your hands in front, you can pump them. Just make sure you get those knees nice and high. Oh. Okay, five more seconds and we're going to do heel flicks. Ready? Let's go heel flicks. Hands on your bums if you want. Bring your heels right back. Doesn't have to be too fast. This is still just a little warm up. Just over 10 more seconds on these. Okay, we're going to do something called a mummy kick now. You put your hands out in front of you. You're going to kick your legs forward. Now, as you kick your legs forward, I want you to alternate your hands on top of each other. If I go that good, you can see what I'm doing with my hands. I'm swapping over the top hand. We kick that leg forward. Ten more seconds. And then we're going to start again. We've got seven exercises we've done there. So let's go back into our jog. We're going to do those seven exercises again, just a bit quicker. GCSE PE students amongst you, any of you that are watching. My class, I know, I've taught all about warms up, uh, warming up and the importance of it. We're going to get our temperature up, we're going to loosen our muscles, which means when we do the real exercise in a minute, we'll be much better at it. Okay, should we go into those jumping jacks? Let's go. A bit faster than we did the first time. Every exercise I ask you to do, I'm going to do with you. So I'm not going to make you do anything too hard, because then I won't be able to do it. Oh, last five seconds on these. We're going to go side steps again. Okay, ready? Let's go on onto our side steps. So if you're uh, there with your family, if you've got your parents involved, or your brothers and sisters, get them in the photos as well. It'd be awesome to see how many people you've got getting involved. Okay, we're gonna go feet shoulder width apart. Across, touch your toes. Okay, last few seconds on these, we're gonna go back into high knees. Oh, okay, into those high knees. If any of you have any suggestions about what you might like to do in these sessions, then let me know. So I did a, um, I did a marble themed routine with year seven and eight yesterday, which I think went down quite well. If you'd like me to do something along those lines, if you want some particular exercises, let me know and I'll stick them in. Right, keep those knees high. And we're going to go to heel flicks. Last minute of the warm up now. We've got the heel flicks and then we've got the mummy runs. 10 more seconds on the heel flicks. Okay, mummy. Last few seconds then. Okay, stop there, grab yourself a drink. We're going to get started in a second. 
Right. A couple of things then. So we've done our warm up. Well done. That's the first part of the four part thing we're going to do. Now we're going to do some stretches. Okay. So we spend about six, seven minutes doing some stretches, mainly lower body things. And then we're going to go into some real challenging exercises after that. Okay. But remember, hit like. You are in direct competition with the other year groups. On who, who um, which year group can get the most people watching at one time. Okay, so you want to try and get everyone involved in this. Um, there'll be a prize for the year group that wins. Um, shall we do this? Let's go. Um, we're going to do stretches first, as I said. So this is really slow, really low intensity. If people like flexibility training, yoga, things like that. This is sort of, sort of along those lines, okay? Now I'm the most inflexible person in the world. Um, but there's only one way to improve that, and that's through stretching. So I'm going to start the clock. It's going to buzz in a second, and I want you to take a big deep breath in and put your arms up. And you're just going to hold them at the top, and I want you to bend your legs into a sort of a squat position, and then bring your arms forwards. Okay, so you should be in this position. Okay, just holding that position there. I'm going to turn back and face you. So stay in that position. Okay, and what I'd like you to do now is straighten one leg and pull over to one side. Keep your arms up and you'll feel a stretch in the groin of your straight leg. Keep those arms horizontal to the ground. Keep breathing throughout. And I want you to just come back up central and then go to the other side. Keep your arms forward, please. Good job. Come central, straighten your legs out, bring your arms down. We're going to breathe in, breathe out, hold your arms, bring them in, and we're going to go again. Three, two, one, take it to the other side. Three, two, one. Okay, I want you to come central, come up. Drop your arms. Now we're going to go into a different stretch. We're going to do our breath in to begin with. And we're going to breathe out and we're going to bring our arms down. Make sure your legs are nice and wide. We're going to step over onto that one side like we were. But now we're going to rotate. Our hands are going to stay horizontal, but our weight is now forward. My back leg is as straight as I can get it. My knee is not on the floor. And I'm holding this position, arms straight as well. Try and get your thigh to be as horizontal to the floor as you can as well. Hold that position. Okay, now I want you to bring your arms up, vertical, as much as you can, and hold. Three, two, one. Now bring your hands down to the floor on the inside of your foot and put both palms down onto the floor, inside of your foot. Get your back leg straight still. And now, the hand that's furthest away from your foot, which if you're doing the same as me as your right hand, you're going to bring up to the ceiling. You're going to hold it as high as you can get it. And you're going to look with your head, with your eyes. Oh, I've just lost my balance. With your eyes, you're going to try and look at that hand that's raised. So twist your neck around to see that hand. Okay, slowly bring it down. We're now going to do the same with our other hand. So I'm going to turn my back to you. We hold that high. Keep that back leg straight, watch your hand at the ceiling, twist your neck to see it. Three, two, one. Bring it down, but this time leave it so your foot is in the middle of your hands. And now step up slowly, straighten your legs out, and put your chest down towards your knee. Okay, get your chest as low as you can towards your knee. Don't drop your head down, keep your head back, put your chest down, and keep that leg as straight as you can. Look how inflexible I am. This is literally as far as I can go. Okay, can anyone else get their chest down to actually contact their knee if you can? And you have amazing flexibility. Oh, okay, we're going to just come right onto our front foot. Use your fingertips to balance. Bring your back leg up horizontal to the ground and just hold. Lift it as high as you can. Keep that standing leg as straight as you can. Three. Two, one, bring it down. Okay, we're gonna go rotate round. We're gonna squat into it. Your straight leg, 
go onto your heel and point your toes to the sky and then push your knee down, not with your hand, but push your knee into the ground as far as you can get it. And you should feel a stretch on the back of your leg. Oh, I do like stretching, it's good. Try and sort of balance on your fingertips, don't put too much weight on your hands, even better, keep your hands off the ground. Okay, slowly distribute your weight into both feet. Come up really slow, bring your feet in. We're gonna go again, but we're gonna go to the other side now. So big breath in, breathe out, arms in front. Weight onto your right leg. Hold, arms vertical, sorry, arms horizontal. And now we rotate round and we hold here. Keep that back leg as straight as you can. Keep your arms horizontal and try and get your thigh horizontal as well. You might find yourself sort of shaking a little bit. Just try and hold that position. Okay, arms up. Hold. And arms down, okay? Both hands on the inside, palms down, inside of your feet. Hold that position. And now the furthest hand, which should be your left hand, comes up. Hold, look at your hand. Keep that balance. Three, two, one. Bring it down slowly. Other hand goes up. Twist your hips, twist your shoulders. Look up to your hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Feet between your hands. Bring your back leg forward. Stand up, straight legs. Chest down towards your knee and hold. Don't drop your head, keep your head back. Keep breathing throughout. You should find your, your breathing's gone down a bit after the warm up. I forgot to do one of the stretches, we'll go back to it in a minute. Okay, onto your front foot. Hold that back foot up as far as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Back foot down, sink into it. This is the one I forgot to do. Toes to the ceiling. Try and keep your weight off your fingers if you can. Push that knee down. Good, okay. Three, two, one. Slowly walk your hands into the middle, both legs straight. And now slowly raise it up, feet in. Okay, grab yourself a drink. Well done, that's our legs nicely stretched out. So let me explain the next stage. We are going to do six exercises, okay? Each one we're gonna work for 30 seconds and then we're gonna have a 30 second break. Okay, so it's like a HIIT training session. If anyone's ever heard of a HIIT session before, it's high intensity, we go as fast and as hard as we can, but then we get a break straight afterwards, okay? And the break is just as long as the work period. So we work for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, repeat, okay? Six exercises, we're gonna do each exercise twice. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then we're done, okay? We'll have a little cool down after that, and we're done. So we do, I've done it as like a sport theme, okay? I did a Marvel theme yesterday. I'm doing a sport theme today. So each exercise is relevant to a particular sport. Um, I've picked like a, a random selection of sports. Um, and we're starting off with a 100 meter sprint. So we're obviously gonna sprint. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds. All I want from you, I'm gonna go sideways on, is to sprint as fast as you can on the spot, okay? Unless you've got a 100 meter um, track in your back garden. We just need to do it on the spot, okay? So I'm gonna start my timer on my phone. It's gonna ding quite loudly at the end of the 30 seconds. That's my cue and that's your cue to stop, okay? And then start resting. Go as fast as you can. I'll be ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So we sprint as fast as we can, 30 seconds. Get those knees up if you can. Pump those arms. We've got 20 seconds to go. Pump those arms, drive those legs. 10 seconds to go. Almost time for a break. Break. 
break time. Okay, so that's the 100 meter sprint. Now we're gonna do a sumo squat. Have you seen those sumo wrestlers? We're gonna do that, they lift their leg up, Whoa, like that. Okay, we're gonna lift and then squat. Lift, squat, lift to the side, squat. Okay, and we're gonna do that in 10 seconds time. So grab a drink if you haven't already. Five seconds, get yourself ready, get a bit of space. Don't kick anyone or anything. This leg first, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift. Okay, so we'll just repeat that movement for 30 seconds. Fast as you can. Just keep it controlled though. Good work, you've got six seconds left, come on. Oh, well done, that's a leg burner, that is. Right, next one, NFL, any NFL fans there? The scrimmage, okay? So we've got the ball in, so I'm gonna go side on. We're gonna go into a lunge position, scrimmage. Imagine the ball's on the floor. I'm gonna shout, hi, 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 and then we're gonna go into a sprint, as if we're running to receive the ball. Then we get back into that on my call. Okay, we hold, and then we sprint, okay? So I will call, lunge, sprint, lunge, sprint. Are we ready? Okay, so we sprint to start, lunge, hold it, sprint, different leg this time, lunge, sprint, lunge, sprint, lunge, always change the leg, sprint, lunge, sprint, don't let the knee hit the floor, lunge, sprint, lunge, sprint, one more, lunge, sprint, Oh, and there's the bell. Okay, there's your NFL scrimmage. We'll move on to climbing the mountain, okay? Mountain climbing is a bit of an extreme sport. We need to use our hands and our feet for mountain climbing. Clever ones amongst you. We'll have figured out we're gonna do mountain climber. So hands on the floor, on your toes, back straight. We drive our legs forward like this, okay? As if we're scrambling up, climbing up a mountain. Ready? Let's go, 30 seconds. Drive those legs up. Knees towards your elbows. Fifteen seconds left. Eight seconds, come on. Oh, and rest. Okay, we're now gonna go into the velodrome. What sport do they do in the velodrome? Who knows that? Hopefully a few of you got it right, it's cycling, okay? So we're gonna cycle, we're gonna go onto our backs, we're gonna do pretend upside down cycling. We are going to have our hands on our heads, we're gonna cycle those legs and put our opposite elbow to our opposite knee, right elbow to left knee, Left elbow to right knee, that's the bell, let's go. Don't let your feet hit the floor. Cycle those legs, this is a really good abdominal exercise. Come on, cycle those legs. Feet off the ground, five seconds to go. Oh, okay, to your feet. Last exercise of the six, ski slalom. Okay, got a few skiers in the year. When we slalom, we change direction. So we've got to jump, change direction, jump, change direction, okay? So it's side to side jumps. Oh, we're gonna start in eight seconds. I'm gonna grab a drink. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Keep those feet and those knees together. It's not about height, it's about quick jumps. Ten seconds.
Oh, there we go, rest, okay. That's our six exercises. Round two, we're gonna go again. Start at the beginning, 100 meter sprint. Oh, warm, very warm. 100 meter sprint. Sprint on the spot. 10, excuse me, 10 seconds. I'm out of breath, hopefully you are too. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. You say mark. Get those knees high. Halfway. job. Oh, next one, sumo squats. 20 seconds till we begin. Remember, we lift the leg, we squat in, we lift the other leg, we squat in. Oh, who'd be a sumo wrestler? I don't think I'd be very good at it. Okay, five seconds. Ready? Fit your over shoulder width apart. Hands in front. Let's go. Down, sumo, down, sumo, down. Oh. Bring that knee up as high as you can on that kick. Oh. 10 seconds. Rest, good. Okay, next up, the NFL scrimmage, lunge and sprint. This time when we lunge, we're gonna do both feet. Okay, so we're gonna swap our feet over quickly. If you're not sure what I mean, I'll demonstrate when we begin. Oh, we're gonna start off with a sprint. We've got six seconds. So we're gonna go sprint, lunge, lunge, sprint, lunge, lunge. Ready, go sprint. Lunge, right foot forward, left foot forward, sprint. Lunge, right, left, sprint. Lunge, right, left, sprint. Lunge, right, left, sprint. Lunge, sprint. Lunge, sprint. One more. Lunge, sprint. Ah, oh, bell, good. Okay, mountain climbers next. We've got three, three exercises to go. Oh, weather needs to cool down, doesn't it? Far too warm. Right, we need to be on our hands and knees ready for the mountain climbers. Six seconds. Oh, ready. Three, two, one, go. Mountain climbers. Climb as high as we can up the mountain. 20 seconds. Oh. 10 seconds. Oh, there's the bell. Rest, right, we may as well stay on the floor. We've got the velodrome cycles now. Abdominal cycles. We're going to our back. We're going to have our feet on our heads to the side. Sorry, our feet, our hands. And then we go right elbow to left knee and then change. Once we start, we keep our heels off the floor. Okay? Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, don't let your feet hit the floor. Cycle those legs, come on. Seven seconds, come on. Whew. 
Oh. Okay. Oh, I've got ski jumps. Last one. Last one. 20 seconds until we start it. Final exercise. Then we'll cool down. Then you're done. Game session is over. So when we ski jump, we keep our knees together. We keep our feet together. And we jump left to right as quick as we can. As if we're changing direction on a mountain top. Okay, we've got three, two, one. Let's go. Keep his feet and knees together. Fifteen seconds to go. Five seconds. Oh, good work. Well done. Okay. We're going to go into a cool down. I'm going to pause my clock. Before any of you disappear, thinking, yeah, we've nailed it, we're done. The cool down is so important, okay? I'm not going to explain in detail why. Ask a GCSE PE student, unless you are one why we do a cool down, something called DOMS, okay? Ask them what DOMS is, someone in my class will definitely know. I'm pretty sure someone in Mr. Irvine's class would know as well, okay? Ask them what's DOMS, why does a cool down help, okay? Let's do a cool down, it's gonna be three minutes, it's not gonna be long at all. We're gonna do some light jogging and some stretching. You can have your water in your hand this time if you want. Okay, so we're gonna jog. Nice and easy. Look out for my feet are hardly even coming off the ground. Cool downs are really low intensity. So this is the easy bit. But it always feels like the hard bit because we're knackered from what we've just done. I'm just going to do this really easy jog. Jog it out. Any of my GCSE P students watching, message me and tell me what DOMS is. I might give you a commendation. Might, not definite. Okay, we're gonna just jog out for 15 more seconds. Oh, this is nice, I'm enjoying this little jog. Okay, right, let's get some stretches in there. So, we're going to start off with a quadricep stretch, which is here, holding your knees together, pushing your hips forward, shoulders back. Five more seconds. Change your leg. Use a door handle or a wall or something, furniture to hold on to. If you've got amazing balance there, you don't need to, you can just stand on one leg. I don't trust myself to not fall over though, so. Hips forward, six seconds more. Okay, let's go into a hamstring stretch. Oh, okay, so we put our front foot forward straight, back foot, leg bent. Sit your bum back onto, just above the heel of your back foot. Keep breathing. Change your leg over. We're going to do one more stretch. We're going to do a hip flexor. And then we're done. Oh, okay, right. You're going to go onto your back leg. You're going to go onto your knee of your back leg. And then you're going to put your front knee. You're going to push it as far over your front toes as you can, okay? should feel it in the groin of the back leg. Okay, change your legs over. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, stand up. Shake it out. Oh, okay, right. 
Well done. We're done. We're finished. Good job, those of you that are still there. Remember, get me um, send me some evidence that you've taken part and you can have accommodation. Let me know if you've got any shout-out requests. I might put music on next week. Let me know if you've got any artists that you want me to play. Um, and well done. I'll see you, unless I'm teaching you beforehand, I'll see you next Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And take care. See you later. Goodbye.